Hello, my beautiful, beautiful Aquarius. Brenda here with your general tarot and oracle forecast for the week of January the 16th to the 22nd, 2023. Okay, let's start right off here. The first of your three energy cards and oracle messages, you have shift your energy. So um, perhaps, you know, you're clearing your energy and the energy of those around you and the energy of your environment. This is all about change. The winds of change are blowing in to your awareness and in order to prepare for what's ahead begin the process of renewal going through change here a shift of energy where is it you want to go and what is it you want to do it might even be uh, include clearing away the old with that no longer has a purpose in your life kind of like that queen of swords right it might mean changing your old habits and patterns that you're already uh to release and you need to do it and you know you want to do this as an example might be actively avoiding over sugary foods or trying to eliminate excessive sugar from your diet. That's just one theoretical exam example. So it may or may not be, but that's just an example. So you're clearing the way, getting rid of what doesn't serve you anymore, and you're moving in a new direction, you know, shedding all of that. And you're doing it uh, because you want to do it and you feel comfortable doing it now. So there is going to be a shift of energy. I see change coming in for some of you, uh, moving in a new direction and changing things around you. Um, you may have come into a situation where you want to have a healthier life, uh, you want to be happier, and you want to get rid of any of that negative energy around you. Just opening those windows and letting it go. Now, coming in next, you have the Flamingo Spirit. Embrace the in-between. Now, as you make these changes, you may still be sort of with one foot in uh, in one spot and the other one trying to go through the new door and the new portal and into the future. But I do think that, you know, it's a sign of creativity that's coming in with you. And there's going to be opportunities, uh, you know, beginning to present themselves. So, um, you know, stay in a balanced state of energy right now. Uh, you know, do the research. Don't go jumping into anything too quickly. Uh, gingerly go through those gates. But these changes may take time. Um, that you're making right now because you're processing them. You're trying to develop them. You're trying to decide which it, it is that you truly want to do. Um, you can trust the moment and yourself as you take in what you see and become aware of all that you are experiencing right now um, in this sort of pause state of action. And I would liken that to almost like the... Um, the temperance card or liken it to uh, the hangman here, this flamingo spirit where you're, you know, you're wanting to go through this door. You got one foot in, in, in this world and the other one going into the new one. Now, you, the next card you have here is the letter. And um, this is all about information coming in. A message of some sort and it could be a package too but sometimes it can you know be an invoice or a certificate or even the results from a test whether it's medical or clerical or whether it's scholastic um, and you're going to find out more about what you want to know and I think it could be almost like um, you know the stamp is here the seal is here this is almost like a legal uh, thing that's coming in that's going to change your life but I do believe it's going to be for the better so there's going to be some correspondence coming in and it could be in the form of a legal document um, it could be in, for, in the form of anything coming in but I do believe it's going to be exciting and new to you now coming in on the bottom of the deck you have the world card yeah that's clear and concise. You're moving in a new direction and the world is your oyster. Able to go after what you want. But it's also the card that says one thing is going to end and a new thing is going to be, begin. And remember we talked about shifting your energy, going into something new, and you're in between worlds here as you do it. But I do believe that you're going to be moving forward here. You're, you know, it's completion. It's renewal. It's going after what you want and not being afraid to do that. Uh, because you're, you're, you're going to be completing something and you realize now you need to go after something new. Uh, and this is perfection, okay? Move towards that next level. Some of you, again, could be receiving something, a reward, a gift, uh, an award for something. This could refer to moving into a new location. Maybe you're buying a new house or moving your job. Um, but you're definitely going to feel freedom here because you've shown the powers that be. You're getting recognized for the talents that you have as you go out into your new world, into a new direction. Wow. Now, coming in in your first row, my Aquarius, could be the energy coming in behind you or past energy. You have the Six of Cups, you have the Devil, and you have the Knight of Pentacles. So, um, energy is moving slow here. We've got the Devil, and look how, you know, in this particular deck, excuse me, um, I had to pause and cough. 
Okay, so in this particular deck, because it is a different deck, it's a new deck, uh, the Knight of Pentacles is depicted here with moving slowly and making a decision. And you may almost feel tempted to do something, but you won't. You're smart enough not to do that. And the devil's behind this Knight of Pentacles, tempting him, tempting him to go quicker, make a fast decision. But I don't think you're going to allow yourself to be held back by or, or being... Um, being um, dictated or directed by someone here uh, that you don't want to be around. This is negative attention, uh, negative energy. Uh, the devil card says you're going to make changes to, your, to the situation you're in. And it can be addictive behavior and addictions. So you may be feeling as though you're hemmed in, you're, you're, you're tied down to a situation here, and now you're going to free yourself. Like I said, you're in the process of making changes here to go towards a better place. And, you know, when we talked about uh, we talked about this world card. You're definitely heading in a new direction. So the Knight of Pentacles is methodical, plans his moves, makes out a detailed plan and goes in. He doesn't go charging in on his steed and then have to go, oh crap, I got to do plan B now. This didn't work out because he rushed his plans. You're taking your time and you're being methodical and that's good. Giving up what no longer serves you, freeing yourself, letting go of those chains that are holding you back from going after your goals with the devil card. Now, the, the Six of Cups comes in and says you could be connecting with uh, past energy, somebody from the past that you knew. It could be a connection on social media. It could be somebody you went to school with. It could be a friend of yours who maybe moved away or became distance was, uh, you know, became between you uh, geographically. This could be uh, just reminiscing and romanticizing about the past when you were young and thinking of your childhood and those that you were with. Um, you could also be tapping into your inner child as you engage and you end up uh, participating and entertaining and maybe being around children in your life right now. I do think that you have this ability to uh, connect with somebody from a distance or who's been distanced from you. This could be somebody that's come in that you may have known. Maybe you had a romance in the past with somebody when you were younger and, you know, it wasn't meant to be. And all of a sudden, social media pops up and you're reconnecting again and laughing and having a good time, remembering the good times that you had. Beautiful. Okay. Coming in next, you have... The in the center position, which could be the middle of the week or how you feel right now. Ooh, I like this. Two of cups, page of cups and the sun. Oh, yes. OK, so you may be, uh, you know, you may be moving in a new direction. The energy and, and the winds of change are coming in here. You could be meeting somebody here. The two of cups is connecting with somebody on an emotional level, being able to communicate and discuss things. Uh, the puzzle pieces fit, uh, pleasing each other and being happy. The two of cups could be somebody new coming in that you're going to uh, want to connect with on a an emotional level or even a love level. Page of Cups could be this person. They may act younger, look younger, or be younger than you, but they come with a useful aspect to them. And they come with a gift of time, effort, support. This could be somebody that you already know that you're taking this, situ the, this relationship to the next level. Don't be afraid to go after what you want. I do think there's going to be some sort of partnership happening here. Sun says, yeah, finally being able to feel healthy and invigorated and loving everything about your life right now. The sun is that card of rejuvenation. The sun is saying that you're going to be able to have a clear sight line to go after what you want. Maybe there's been a relationship that you've been wanting to see come to fruition here and you've taken your time to do that and now you're free. Maybe this person has re resurfaced or come in from your past and you've reconnected. This is beautiful. The sun says it's the best card in the deck for positivity opportunities doors of opportunities opening up to be happy and successful wow okay coming in the in your final row my beautiful aquarius or the energy towards you or future energy or the end of the week you have the seven of wands the three of swords and the chariot so very interesting energy for some of you, you could be feeling um, that you've had to fight a hard battle uphill and it's been difficult for you, but you finally reached the pinnacle and you realize that you didn't give up. And because you didn't give up, this is why you become the champion, the chariot. You had some really, really big challenges here and disappointments that you had to deal with and it might have left you feeling depleted, discouraged, disappointed and even heartbroken. Um, I do think you're healing through that. It could have been uh, a relationship that ended uh, for some of you, uh, or someone has left 
the the you know left the energy around you and left you on your own um there could have been a third party that stirred the cauldron here uh that caused this disappointment in your life but nonetheless you're very strong and you didn't give up you forged forward you said i'm going to get over this and i'm going to keep moving forward and because of that you come out ahead of the game the champion being able to go into that ring okay knowing that there's risks and there's there's consequences and you didn't care you said uh uh i'm going to I'm going to go after what I want and I'm going to come out ahead. You held your head a high here through a situation for some of you. Whatever these challenges were that you had to deal with, you come out ahead of the game. The chariot is great achievement. Getting a public recognition, all your friends and family or your colleagues around you are very, very uh, respectful of the changes that perhaps you've made in your life. You know, shifting that shift of energy and going towards something new here is amazing. Wow. Well, 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 my beautiful Aquarius, what an interesting, powerful reading you've had. Uh, quite interesting and, 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 a, and very quite diverse here. Different things happening in this week. Well, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, beautiful, optimistic week here, Aquarius, to look forward to. Nonetheless, it's going to be interesting. And, you know, keep in mind, this is a general reading. Not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you. But maybe some of it will, so run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any personal questions, all that information is posted below each and every one of my videos, my prices. And all you have to do is click that little icon in the top right-hand corner of all my videos, and it'll whip you into my website, where you can see those services and actually book them on the calendar for yourself. Well... I wish you a beautiful day and a positive week. And always know I send you lots of love and many blessings. And Aquarius, I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.